All right, I don't know what to expect. This episode, Sam is gonna bring a topic with us. Well, hang on, here he comes. Hey, are you hungry? What have you got in there? Hey, do you know what I've got here? What? It's the future of food, brother. <sighs> Smells. Mate. Interesting. It's all right. What is this? This well, is the Beyond, this is, this Beyond is Burger. This is the Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger just oh, been floated in America. IPO, does everyone know what that means? Sorry about this. IPO. Yeah, you got to tuck in. I'm about to as well. It's a sensation that's about to change the world. No animals were harmed in the production of this burger, Tommy. So, Tommy, let me give you some of the numbers on Beyond Meat. Sure. On the stock market, a couple of months ago, $25 a share. Yesterday, $165 a share. People are voting with their wallets. We're going to get cracking. This is now soon later. Tonight... We're talking about the future of food. Mate, how good is this thing? This actually, I would not have known. I would not have known. It tastes like a really shit burger. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It tastes like a really shit burger, but I would have not have known that it wasn't a burger is the point. I'm very impressed. Mate, it's got the bleed. Look at that. Man, so, it looks like a burger, doesn't it? Does that look? The exciting stuff is happening when we start growing real meat in real labs. Yeah? And there's a couple of companies who are... Uh, Making some headway. They are. Memphis Meat. Memphis Meat. Do you know the first lab burger, Tom? Guess how much it cost? How much? $330,000 for one burger. That is a Kardashian burger right there, my friends. Yes, Kylie. How is it? Really good. That was about six years ago. So now one of those burgers yeah. is around about $5,000 grown in the lab. But you know the difference between that and this, Tommy? What's that? is that this is to replicate meat's flavour, profile and taste and smell. But the lab burgers are identical to a real burger that was grown out of an animal. They grow it out in the lab instead of growing it in a paddock. That's so freaky. It's, it's, it's what they awesome call... Awesome but freaky. Freaky. They call it nature identical. The cows are very destructive animals. They oh. look like they just sit there in their place. But let me tell you, the cows... The cows are making a big dent in global warming. Big night. dent. The stats are mind blowing. Agriculture has a bigger impact on global warming than the emissions from cars, trucks, and airplanes combined. If you want to feel not guilty, next time you take a plane, you just have a vegetarian meal on that flight, my friends, and you are halfway there. If you are a Hummer driving vegetarian, you do less damage than Joey Prius smashing out his burgers. Soon, I hope we see this price drop because I do, I, look, I'll put my hand up. I love a burger, I love a steak, but I also love animals, right? And if we can avoid slaughtering millions of them, I'm all in. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't just have these burgers, which are made from vegetables, but actual lab burgers, maybe midway through next year because the stats say that soon a lab-grown burger will be less than $10 per burger. Meat, as in actual fresh meat that's come from an animal who's been slaughtered, will be a delicacy, really, won't it? Delicacy? It's going to come with a tax and a regulation if this balances out. If the production costs drop to the point where it becomes feasible, you can see taxes coming in and regulating this yeah. based on sustainable factors as well as ethical factors. Yeah, it's funny, we don't hear many people talk about the sustainability. We talk about coal, but no one talks about cattle farming. And I think that's because so many countries, it's a deep part of our industry and our culture. America, Australia, farming, it's a big part of our culture. It's two old beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. But here's what I reckon will happen much later, Tommy. We're talking in the 10 year realm. Mm -hmm. Crazy one here, crazy idea, this is crazy. I think, Killing of animals to eat them will be outlawed. Big shout. Big shout, outlawed. And and tell us what up. you reckon in the comments below. And you know what, if you want to find out more, we covered this in great detail for the future of food. Jump on the futuresandwich.com podcast and check it out. It's all there for you. But let us know in the comments, man. Have you tried the Beyond Burger? What do you reckon? What do you think? It's not bad. It's good. And by the way, subscribe to this. What, what are you laughing for? <laughs>